god trees and shit. What? That's how we start this off. <laughs> 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 oh crap. Alright, we, 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 we did this too long. Uh, hey guys, welcome back to Dark Souls. It's me, uh, uh, Bill Cosby and Bill Clinton. And See, he already, he already forgot his own name. Uh, I'm just kidding. It's Death and, and uh, Rick. Okay. What the hell? I can't move! This fucking crab has cheat codes! You're getting hit by a super crab. And then he burrows under and resets his entire HP bar. Okay. Jerk. Anyways, we're at Crucifixion Woods. We're gonna go this way. And... Where'd your exile dudes go? Oh. <laughs> well, that was, uh... Quite disappointing. Stupid. Ow. 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 Go away. Crap, Alex incoming. I don't know why I can never parry that fucking weapon. Cause it's broken. You wanna handle this for me so I can... I'm still working on your exile, dude. He keeps spamming his sword art. Got it. Really? No, okay. Uh, boom. Exile great sword. Okay, let's get this one done with. The exile. Most broken fucking weapon in the game. Uh. Literally, because because of what this thing called the hitbox is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so the exile, other than that, is actually a really good curve. Sword. I think it's the only curve sword that relies on strength rather than on dexterity. I could be wrong about this. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, it's not a weapon I've, I use, but hey, for a lot of people who are very good at hard hitting, but like uh, slow swinging this is your weapon and we're back sorry about that Tim did kill the invader but I that killed was... him using the dagger that was about <laughs> 10 minutes we're not gonna get back uh, anyways this is Farron Keep this is Blight Town 3.0 not nearly as annoying though no it's actually a lot easier and not nearly as bad flame rate Although they did do quite a bit of improvements here with the frame problems to actual release. Yeah. I'm gonna put on the drain armor actually, because I want to. I ain't got no poison resistance anyway, so it don't matter. Okay, I thought I had poison must. Anyways, we're gonna go over here and collect the hardest and best item in the game. Known to man. Prism stones. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I always buy like 600 of them for no reason. I was way too late. I loved how you could. Oh, hey, look, double the. Oh, wait, no. I loved flooding them in Dark Souls 1 where your whole world would just be so glory it would cause ridiculous amounts of lag. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, look at that. What'd you get? Dark gauntlets. <laughs> First try. I have a dark ray sword if you want it. Sure, why not? I have like 10 of them. Sure, why not? We'll go over it because... Dark Sword. There you go. This will make the most all... annoying sword in Dark Souls 3 history. This will make all the weeaboos upset if we didn't, so... Let's just go over it. The Dark Sword! Yay! Go ahead, Tim. It's broken. 
<laughs> it's just flat out. I'm just gonna say it's broken. Even after its massive three nerf patches it had, it's still broken. Pretty much when the game first came out. Uh, well, actually, as soon as Dark Souls 3 came out, there was a thing called an R1 spam. Broken as heck. People thought it was Bloodborne 2.0's swing uh, style. Beast Pretty much in Bloodborne, in order to do any kill, you had to sit there and R1 spam. That way, when you took damage, you could replenish your health. So, pretty much, people got into that habit of R1 spamming and L2 spamming. And L1 spamming. And when 3 came out, since everybody was already used to Bloodborne's release, R1 spam was made on Dark Souls 3. Because the speed of swinging was increased immensely. So, when people got a hold of the Dark Race Sword, they did uh, stat errors when they designed the Dark Race Sword. They actually made the scaling too high, so people could be level 50 and use a Dark Ray Sword and, and own a player in two swings. It was, it was unreal, and you didn't even have to buff it. That was the sad part. Uh, second, or the first nerf they did, they nerfed its base damage and broke it completely. Then people whined and complained and wanted it brought back, so they gave it a slight buff slash nerf. They gave it a buff back to its base damage, but completely made buff damage null and void to where it was nothing, to where it was not even useful on the weapon anymore. And then, third one came in when they did the infusion patch to where the infusions worked properly. They made it to where infusions no longer worked on the Dark Red Sword at all. You can still use it on Dark Red Sword, but it doesn't work. Any so it's had loss? a total of. So it's to it's literally had a total of three nerfs to try to fix it, and now it's just at the point now where nobody uses it anymore, and if they do, it's usually for just base damage kills for mobs. Yep. <clears throat> but yeah, that's pretty much a Dark Ray Sword. It's got the standard attack of... What the it's fuck? Got a weird, it's got a foot stomp of a great sword, like a big great sword. Or, and it's got the swing style of I need another swing one. to the side and knock their shield back. Oh, there we go. All and right. then, yeah, it, it, there's the sword arts crap. Nobody uses it, and pretty much everybody R1 spammed with it. So yeah, it's got a terrible reputation. If you ask any of us veterans what we think of the dark sword, we'll literally laugh in your face and boot you out of the party. That's that's what it's boiled down to for Dark Ray Swords. Oh god! Mistakes were made. This was an on! No, this was an on! I'm gonna get killed by poison. Poison gonna eat my asshole. Oh, and just a uh, tooltip about the Dark Wraith mobs. Don't mess with them unless you're absolutely sure that you can dodge their attacks. Because they mess you up worse than what players would. They are ridiculously overpowered in this game. Worse than Dark Souls 1 Dark Wraiths on playthrough 7 difficulty. Which I think I'm number one I went to 5th playthrough. I don't remember. It's been a while. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, pretty much that was our review. Probably the longest review I've had that was negative. I'm about to say, I, <laughs> I, I don't want to hear I'm it, sorry, Mr. Sestis. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I have nothing positive to say about the Dark Ray Sword at all. Well, you did say something well, positive. <laughs> it's great for killing AI mobs. This is true. But... I don't know. I guess I'm just one of those old-fashioned players that I believe in hitting more than just one button to kill my target. We're gonna go up this ladder before we uh, go hit the third torch. I haven't gone There's up a... this ladder since month one of freaking release, which was a year ago. Over a year ago. We're going up here! Yeah! There's, there's three things that I want. Or a few couple things. Firstly, running back here, 
Will be a bug. I killed the bug. Hi. Second is this illusionary wall, which leads to the Dream Chaser's ashes. If you're having trouble like I am currently collecting Titanite shards, these ashes are right for you. <laughs> because they will grant you unlimited amounts of Titanite shards um, to purchase. The only covenant animal that you can't piss off by hitting it. <laughs> Second thing is, is a nice mini boss, which I will actually put a bio up of. <gasps> a mini boss with a bio, that's a first. <laughs> <laughs> this boss was pro or yeah, this mini boss is probably the hardest one that I fought when I first start started in Dark Souls 3. If you play Dark Souls 1, you know what this is? This is the stray demon. This guy Just is all massively annoying. Um, out. Just remember, don't get grabbed by him. Yeah, he doesn't have a lot of health. I think he has a total of 2,800 or less. Oh crap. Out. Um. Hey, that's new. No 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 Damn Alex Hey he grabbed me That looked like it hurt A little bit And yes he's getting a bio because he gives you a soul Great axe You know more about him than I do It's still not worth giving a bio I'll put it like this, it's just a big ass axe. Okay. Uh, hold on a second, guys. I would like to know how a dude managed to beat both Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3 and Bloodborne without taking any damage. feel stupid. The microphone's been muted this whole time. <laughs> A little bit. No, I feel, I feel stupid because I grabbed what I came up here to have you review and I forgot to say anything about it. <laughs> Anyways, the Dragon Crest Shield. There we go. Go ahead, Timothy. Dragon Crest Shield. Okay, like I said in the previous video, it's literally the same exact thing as the crest shield except it just has fire resistance that's pretty much what to sum it up good shield though oh yeah very good shield very helpful sh very very helpful shield actually that's what saved my rear end when i was fighting the ancient dragon in number two and then saved my rear end again when i was fighting uh hell kite the first time when it came back to fight him in dark souls one Mm -hmm. And then saved me here a few times when I was uh, first playing and I took on the Abyss Watchers. Which they don't know anything about yet, sir? Nope, you guys will find out who the Abyss Watchers is, but I'm just stating it now. You guys will know, it'll click when you see the name. The majestic music will give it away for me. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> and we can't cover it for that because it's part of our damn state fuckers. No. <laughs> So this is here. This is a, I got is 40. I'll leave you 10. Behind you! Ow. This ain't Final Fantasy. Chewbacca's ugly cousin. These things Ow. do drop a really, really rare item, but. What do they drop? Oh wow, dude, I got a more cereal. The stone. Great shield. You can divine blessing. <clears throat> Good shield. This Hold is on. <laughs> but the wait, Hagen. Tim. They might be confused. We didn't give the bonfire a bio. <laughs> Ooh. Ow. <laughs> Could you imagine? Dude, I'd be so annoyed right now. <laughs> Uh, Alex? So there's a way to my serial attack this thing. <gasps> oh my god. What? I feel well, special. That's two in a row. I didn't even know that could happen to him. Well, you can visceral him? Yeah. Yeah, I never really got that to happen. Although after playthrough one, I, I, all I did was just run past him and ignore him. Didn't even bother to mess with him. I have this song stuck in my head. It really sucks because it's not appropriate. Is it, um... <clears throat> No, it's from, uh, <laughs> it's from Rucka Rucka Ali. Oh, no, don't, don't you there. Exactly. <laughs> no, don't you there. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody who knows who Rucka Rucka Ali is can relate when I don't want to sing any of his songs. <laughs> And let me just put it this way so people know who it is that who know who Rucka Rukali is. It's a Kesha song remix. Oh, I was I was thinking of a I know some faggot JB. <laughs> no, everybody already knew that one, but no. <laughs> the one that I'm thinking of is a racist one about Obama. Oh no, please. <laughs> Oh, this is not good. I'm gonna get hit and die. Hey, dark leggings. Ah, uh, help. Ooh. I smoke crack with a rolled up constitution. Aw. Oh. No one's hard for that backstab. There we go. You got it. I poke it at him. Oh, I was no. hoping to get, like, another piece, damn it. Oh, hey, look, an Estes. Yeah, I'm going to need the rest out of Bonfire, because I only have three. Hey, I'm going to Black Crystal out. Luckily, I'm already at this Bonfire. No, 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 God damn it! What? <laughs> the Crystal Lizard. Ah, oh, crap. Well, I have no Estes, so mm. I would have died if I got hit twice. Uh, well, we'll be back, guys. Again. Hey, we're back. <laughs> Interruption. Anyways, we're back, guys. Technical difficulties. Uh, yeah, we're heading towards. Wait, why well, are we gonna go kill the lizard? I already killed it. Ow. You suck. Well, you left. That's all right. They already know. What, they're already gonna know what the lizard actually looks like when we progress further. 
I already know what it looks like from the tutorial. Oh yeah, you showed him that, huh? Yeah. Okay. Anyways, oh, you guys are good to you see. You know what we never went to go do? Hmm. Kill the Black Knight. Oh. Oh well. We can do that later. Hmm. But we get to do one of our personal favorite fights. By traversing Fair and Keep. You come across a giant room with a bunch of dead corpses. What lies in here? The cutscene shall tell. Dead people. <laughs> I'm gonna meet the mic. It's like, I see dead people. I have stockings all the way up to my face. <laughs> you know, it's really hard to keep this quiet when you're making me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. <clears throat> this is the Abyss Watchers! The first Lord of Cinder you will come across in the game. He is also one of the funnest fights with a very heartwarming theme at that. This boss is beautiful. I'm not gonna say that he's perfect because the flaw is he's, he's about as frail as a leaf. I take that back, a leaf is more frail. But, He's about as frail as peanut brittle. Fucking stupid puns. The Abyss Watchers are essentially the first stopping point for a lot of people's game. This actually is where a lot of people sold their copy. If you Which think I'm kidding. Kinda funny. If you think I'm kidding. This is an easy boss fight. It's not even a joke. Oh god. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to look up a bunch of things before I. Yeah. Got him. The Abyss Watchers, unfortunately for being the first Lords of Cinder, only have 1500 health. That's... Uh, I'm sorry. I wish they had more health. Anyway, surprisingly, weakness is lightning. You don't see that often considering lightning is more of a dragon weakness. But nonetheless, I think it's because I think it's because of his pointy hat. Yeah, maybe. We <laughs> might treat him like a lightning rod. <laughs> this is where the true fight begins. Now with a bit more defense, and no, I only mean a bit, I don't mean a whole bunch. This is when the Abyss Watcher is slightly angry. This is when the fight can get chaotic considering he deals double the damage. Swing and fire damage makes this fight incredibly difficult for a lot of players. And gotcha. that, uh, what the hell? Okay, well. <laughs> Cheat codes, no. Obviously. Uh, this is one of those bosses that can be parried, so if you want to try him. and parry him, it's up to you. Tim, can you stop backstabbing him? <laughs> you make the fight, like, not fun. Ow! You're Anyways, insane. yeah, he's a humanoid fight, <laughs> so you have to have a lot of fun. Ow! You have to have a lot of fun with him. <laughs> there we go. Ooh. I did most of the work. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> you still get the souls, it doesn't matter. Uh huh. I'm an ember. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, Tim ruined it so I couldn't describe the fun of the fight, but yeah. Thanks hey, everybody for watching. about ruined it? I showed how easy it can be with two people. You still kill the boss faster than I could fucking do a bio. I couldn't even finish the bio by the time the fight was over. <laughs> Anyways. Do they? That's how you show people that sold their copy because of that boss was mean they weren't doing something right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And that was the fight. So thanks everybody for watching and take care.